All right. How do I, I like to call this how to achieve or how, how a dirty mouth can help you achieve an oral orgasm. I'll talk about an oral orgasm in a second. So don't like go, Oh no, what is that? Um, but a dirty mouth, I play on words here. Um, dirty mouth basically means that y- y- sometimes what we're using is an overkill. It's over cleaning. It's sterilizing the mouth. Think about when you take an antibiotic, it, it, you know, even for seven days when you've had an infection for, of, for some reason, and you end up with diarrhea, you end up with constipation, you end up with a sore, sore stomach or, you know, tummy ache. It's because you end up killing all of your good bacteria inside your gut. And now it's a dysbiosis. You have bad bacteria that overtakes it. The same thing happens inside your mouth when you're using products that are sterilizing your mouth. And, you know, by sterilizing, I mean, alcohol, triclosan, sodium lauryl sulfate, peroxide, things like that, that kill everything. So you do want to have a slightly dirty mouth with good bacteria. And then I'll move forward and tell you what an oral orgasm is. We kind of came up with this term, uh, my team and I, as we were kind of describing, we had a customer describe what the sensation was when they used our products and ended up with healthy bacteria in their side of their mouth. They said that it feels like they're having an oral orgasm twice a day when they brush their teeth. And we loved it. We thought that was amazing. So it kind of stuck. So when your bacteria is healthy inside your mouth, you end up with the right balance of good and bad bacteria. The bad bacteria is what gives you that foul taste, that foul smell. It, you go running for gum, you go running for breath mints, which aren't going to do you any good. It, you really need to get it, reestablish a good bacteria, a good microbiome inside your mouth. And I'll go into that in a minute. But, uh, you know, a little bit about me. Uh, I, I'm a registered nurse. I've been a nurse since, you know, gosh, 1994. So quite a while now. I'm the CEO of Primal Life Organics. I created everything in my kitchen. I created everything by hand. All of the the recipes are are made by me, formulated by me, and we still do make everything by hand. I'm the best-selling author. Beauty's Dirty Secret is a book that I go into more detail about skin and dental products. Um, beauty, I always say Mother Nature has a dirty secret. The beauty industry has a dirty secret, but Mother Nature has some dirty secrets as well, and her secrets are amazing. So I, I, I kind of give you a lot of information about the beauty industry, as well as how mother nature actually takes care of us if we just use her products. And I'm also a registered nurse and a mom and been featured on a couple programs with my dental products. First of all, when I was talking about my daughter and the reason I was so upset when he told me we would most likely have to pull that tooth is because I know every tooth in the body is connected to an organ, an organ or a a group of tissues. And when you look at this chart, you can see that Uh, like her tooth was, uh, it was probably tooth number seven in the back or, or six, one of those as a baby tooth. And so you can see it's connected. Six is connected to the spleen. What this means, if you don't know what the tooth meridians is, it's like the meridian channels for acupuncture, acupressure. It's this channel. I always like to say it's like a two-way channel of communication. So when, when you're, when you were being developed, Every tooth was being developed at the same time as an organ. So that's where that connection comes from. So it's a two-way street. If you're having a problem, say with your spleen, you may not have any symptoms from your spleen or stomach or small intestines. The teeth right around it can be affected as well. But what might happen is you might end up with a toothache on tooth number six. And if you end up with a toothache and your dentist can't find anything wrong with that tooth, this is where the chart comes in helpful. You can go to your doctor and say, hey, can you check my spleen? I, I'm not sure if I have a problem with it because I, I'm having a toothache. They might think you're crazy, but uh, I'm having a toothache with tooth number six and it's connected with by the tooth meridians to my, to my spleen. The, the reverse is also true. You could be having a problem with your tooth say tooth number five, and you might be getting stomach aches every single day, but your tooth doesn't hurt you. It could be in the gum tissue where the tooth, in the root of the tooth, inside the tooth, you might not even have any pain, but you might be getting stomach aches that nobody can figure out why. And so that's the opposite connection is you could be having stomach aches signaling there's a problem with tooth number five. So it's just good knowledge to know that this, this is how the body was developed and it's a communication tool. And it's also just something for you to be aware of. There's plenty of websites that are interactive. You can 
connect to a tooth and it shows you which um, organs and it goes into a little bit more detail. But I just wanted everyone to be aware that this is out there and it's just another tool that you can use. But it was the reason as I was walking out of the dentist office that I was like, oh my gosh, I don't want that tooth to be severed. This is why root canals, if, if you have to have a root canal or a tooth pulled, I, you know, try and do it only as a last resort, especially if the tooth can be saved. This is why biological dentists are usually more apt at wanting to save a tooth because they really understand the connection with the body. And then this is where I typically go into my story about my daughter and her tooth. So I'll skip this right now since we went into it. I like to say good health starts inside the mouth. And you may have heard that growing up. I know I heard that. I had absolutely no idea what it meant. And now I know that good health starts inside the mouth because like I explained before, your mouth is connected to your gut. It's connected through that airspace. I always call it airspace to your sinuses, your nose, your, and, and your lungs just by the breath being, uh, being sucked in. I always say what, you know, your mouth is not Vegas, Las Vegas. What happens inside your mouth doesn't stay there. It travels everywhere. So good health starts inside the mouth. So what happens if your gum tissue is bleeding, if it's inflamed, if you have cavities, any, any symptoms, if you have, you know, a coating on your tooth or on your tongue, what happens then? This might be where good health ends. And this right here is the ex explanation for why heart disease is on the rise, autoimmune diseases on, on the rise, all sorts of inflammatory diseases or infertility is on the rise. If you are, if your mouth is not healthy, most of your other organs are being in, inflicted with some sort of inflammatory process. And, and this is where good health ends. So it's really important to begin to start to take care of your mouth and then the rest of your body can also follow. If you're taking care of the rest of your body, but not paying attention to your mouth, you will most likely never fully achieve good health status. Bad breath. I just want to say something here. We have become accustomed. We've been brainwashed into believing that bad breath is normal. You know, we, we, we're being sold breath mints and gum and all sorts of things. And, you know, cover your mouth. And even with mask mouth, you know, putting the mask over our face for so long, all of that contributes to the wrong bacteria. The wrong bacteria inside the mouth, as I alluded to earlier, is, is really what causes bad breath. So it's the signal to you, it's the very first sign that there's a problem. And if you don't do anything about your bad breath, you are gonna end up with gum disease, cavities, and then the inflammatory processes that go with that, which then lead to heart disease and Alzheimer's and infertility and diabetes and everything else. So good health starts inside the mouth. That's exactly where it might end. And bad breath is not normal. And even if you wake up with it in the morning, you should not. So it is not normal. We need to change our and shift our thinking. But big dental doesn't want you to think that way. Uh, toxipaste is what I call toothpaste, alcohol mouthwashes, all of those lead to an imbalance inside your mouth. They lead to the wrong bacteria. They overkill everything. They sterilize your mouth. It's like taking that antibiotic twice a day for life. I'm talking for life, like that antibiotic that you took for seven days that gave you a stomach ache and diarrhea for 10 days. This is like brushing your teeth with an antibiotic twice a day for life and expecting to not have diarrhea except in the mouth, it turns into leaky gum syndrome, which I'll go into in a minute. Even if you're brushing with something that's considered natural or a healthier version, it's still probably not giving you the benefits of what a dental program really should. And I'll, I'll teach you what to look for and what to avoid as, uh, as far as even natural products go. A toothache. So next behind bad breath, is sensitive teeth. I know so many people, sensitive teeth and gum recession, uh, those three things are really the top three problems that adults suffer from. And, and sensitive teeth is not normal. If you don't change what's happening inside your mouth, those sensitive teeth are going to lead to gum disease as well as cavities, possibly root canals. It's a mineral loss related to the environment inside the mouth. It is not okay. It is not normal. A toothache or mineral loss or sensitive teeth can be reversed. I've seen it and had it done for my clients. They've, you know, two to three days 
is all it typically takes. Uh, and I, these are people that have had sensitive teeth for years. I've seen this numerous times. I've had sensitive teeth for the past five years. No matter what I did, I, I always had sensitive teeth. I brushed for three days. My teeth are no longer sensitive. I can't believe it. So it can be reversed. We just have to shift our thinking and shift the environment inside the mouth. Before I actually go into the dental, we have to understand that our saliva is super, super important. So we want to make sure that we're drinking enough water. We want to make sure that we are salivating the way we should. And if there are any supplements or medications that you're taking that are reducing the amount of uh, saliva that you produce, be aware of that and, and just make sure that you're, you're staying hydrated on top of that because your saliva is so, so important in, in a lot of different ways. So I'll go into four functions. There's more, but these are the top four um, related to what I want to go over. Your saliva has antibacterial, antifungal, antimicrobial, antiviral, anti everything. This is why good health starts inside your mouth. When you're exposed to something, someone sneezes, someone, you know, you drink out of your water bottle that had the open lid and someone had all, you know, sneezed three feet away from you. And then you take a sip of it, that all of that stuff that's on the open water bottle is then in your mouth. And the first place that it should get deactivated or killed is by your saliva. Your saliva has these proteins in it that are going, oops, that, that will, will act actually kill all sorts of things inside your mouth. I have hey, our clients, my customers typically will say that once they've made the switch and they, they've alkalized their mouth and their saliva is healthy, then they, they rarely get sick with the common cold, the flu, and anything else that's going around because their saliva is actually functioning the way it should. So your saliva is protective. That's one of the main reasons you want to make sure that you're hydrated and you do have a good amount of saliva. Saliva also breaks down your food. As humans, we are the only mammals that have enzymes that actually start digestion inside the mouth. That's extremely important for metabolizing your food and being able to extract the nutrients out of it. It also, the other, th the third thing is that it carries good bacteria from your mouth to your intestines. And I, I say carries good bacteria, but you have to understand that whatever is inside your mouth you are swallowing. And that's really gross when you stop to think about it because you're exposed to everything in the environment. So whatever is inside your mouth, you are swallowing into your stomach, good, bad, or indifferent, good bacteria, bad bacteria, neutral, anything you are swallowing it. You're inhaling it into your sinuses and into your lungs. So you really want to make sure your saliva is good and as it's carrying things down into your gut, it's killing the stuff that you don't want. Because guess what? The bad bacteria that loves to harbor inside your mouth and create all the chaos, when you swallow that, you have foul mouth, you're swallowing that bad bacteria all day long, that bacteria loves acids. So where is it going? It's going to your stomach which creates acid to break down your food. If you have these live things swallowing and you're swallowing them and ending up live in your gut, automatically that's the environment that it loves. It's going to flourish. And then it passes into your small intestine, which is not equipped to get rid of this type of bacteria or virus or whatever it might be, fungus. This is why now we have leaky gut syndrome. This is one of the main reasons we have leaky gut syndrome. So many people have leaky gut syndrome, which is the, the, the inflammation of the gut tissue so that the junctions open up. And now things that shouldn't be getting into your body are now entering through your intestines into your bloodstream and then infecting you, causing you to have um, inflammatory processes. So you would just want to make sure your saliva is carrying good things and bad things, killing the bad stuff on the way down. And um, the last thing is that your saliva keeps your mouth more alkaline. Saliva is actually fairly neutral. Back in the day when our you know, ancestors were alive, they weren't dealing with as much sugar, processed foods and, you know, things like that. So our saliva was really meant to just neutralize weaker acids, foods that were, you know, might, might be slightly acidic. They were eating mostly vegetables, mostly fruits, a little bit of meat, you know, when they could hunt and, and gather it. 
Uh, but mostly the saliva was there to function to neutralize the acids and, and make the mouth more alkaline. D the saliva also contains minerals. That's one of the other components of saliva. Your saliva has the minerals in it to remineralize your teeth. Remineralization of your teeth, you cannot take a supplement for them to remineralize your teeth. It all happens directly inside your mouth, through your saliva, through your food, and through the dental products that you're using. So that's why your dental products are extremely important, important because if you have leaky gut syndrome or any malabsorption problem going on inside your gut, Crohn's or anything like that, you are most likely not absorbing all of the nutrients from your diet or your supplements. And if you're not absorbing them, this is why pregnant women so um, end up nutrient deficient. Not only are you, you might, especially if you're pregnant and you have a, a digestive issue, you're not absorbing, but now you have, I always call them parasites, but baby is trying to steal all of your nutrients, especially your calcium and phos for bone, but their own bone and teeth, which then depletes mom of minerals for her own teeth and bone. So typically mom's uh, that ha are mineral depleted will end up with a cavity after a pregnancy, primarily because their saliva is now mineral depleted. So um, making sure your saliva is, is good also starts with making sure your digestive health is good. That all starts with the mouth as well. Hey, don't forget to check out the rest of the series right here. Make sure you hit subscribe below. And as always, thanks for tuning in.